The 2018 Winter Olympics kicked off on Friday, February 9th, and Nigerians are paying close attention to it for the first time. Unofficial one. This is because of the historic appearance of Sheon Adikun, Ngozi Owumere, and Akoma Omega for the bobsled event, and Simidele Adiagbo for the skeleton event. Sheon, Ngozi, and Akoma started this amazing journey for Nigeria at the Winter Olympics. Born and brought up in Chicago, Illinois, in the United States of America, Sheon was a 100 meters hurdle athlete. She represented Nigeria in the 100 meters hurdles and won a medal for Nigeria at the 2010 African Athletics Championship in Nairobi. She fell in love with bobsled around 2014 and tried out for the USA bobsled team. She went on to recruit Oumere and Omega, and together they formed Nigeria's first bobsled team. I think the biggest attraction was the innovation and was um, that, I mean, along the same platform of what it means to represent something that is resetting finish lines, something that is a new, a breath of fresh air. And I think that those were the concepts that aligned with their family-oriented environment, with our, our um, mission to do the exact same thing for the continent of Africa. And I think that that really sparked them to believe in what we were doing and back it. You know, it just felt like natural to, to bring them a part of this. It's almost like crazy because it kind of came as a surprise. I think I didn't really expect it to be as much as it is now. So even at the time when I said yes to Bob said I didn't necessarily say yes to all of this. <laughs> you know? So I think, I mean, it was a pleasant surprise. It came with a lot of great things. So I'm definitely fortunate to be part of this. It was in December 2016 that the girls first made public their quest to make history for Nigeria at the Winter Olympics. To fund their mission, they launched a GoFundMe account to solicit for $150,000. Global payment technology company Visa was the first one. Born in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, the 36-year-old was inspired by the story of Sheon, Ngozi and Dakoma and attended a draft organized by the Bobsled and Skeleton Federation of Nigeria in Texas. She could not make it in bobsled and ended up in skeleton. When I said I'm doing skeleton, <laughs> But they were like, what is that, first of all? So there's been a lot of education that's had to happen because nobody really knows the sport or understands it. Um, but as I've gotten closer and closer to the Olympics now, uh, people are just so happy. They're proud of us. They're encouraging to us. And yeah, it's been good. The four women are already heroes. During their visit to Nigeria, just before jetting off to Pyeongchang, they were hosted by a host of sponsors. In early December 2017, Sheon, Ngozi and Akoma were guests on Prime American TV talk show and The Ellen DeGeneres Show. They also received a shout out from tennis legend Serena Williams. Okay, so there was two monumental moments here, like when we first started the bobsled. It was one when we got sponsored by Visa. Mm -hmm. I had to, I was actually on the phone with Sheon mm -hmm. and Akwama, and I said, which Visa? <laughs> the global Visa? You know, the Visa Visa, that, the Visa that we've been using since we were smaller, that's the only, you know, pay, form of payment we know. So I think that was one of the big moments. And the second one was Ellen, just because I watch her and now I'm on her show. So everything came full circle. Um, Ellen has a huge, like, a viewership, um, you know, population. And so with that being said, we set out to create a awareness and when you're on Ellen everybody's gonna watch it so I was super excited to be there. 